Assume you have a list of numbers like this and you want to sort them from smallest to biggest. One way to do this is using an algorithm called insertion sort. First, understand that when we talk about a list of numbers in programming, every number has a position. That position is called the index. It starts from zero. So 29 is at index zero, 17 is at index one, 14 is at index two, and so on till five, which is at index six. In insertion sort, we go through each number one by one and insert it into its correct position among the numbers before it. For this, we use three variables, i, j, and temp. i is the pointer that moves forward from left to right. It shows the position of the current number we are trying to insert in the right place. It starts from index one because the first number, or this index zero, is already considered sorted. Then, temp is the variable that holds the value of the current number we picked using i. We save it because we might shift some bigger numbers to the right, and we don't want to lose the number we are inserting. j is another position pointer, which starts from one less than the i. So, j starts from i minus one, and it moves backwards to the beginning of the list, and it helps us compare the variable temp with the numbers on the left. J is equal to zero, which means we are pointing to 29. Then the variable I is at position one, so temp becomes 17. We then compare the value at temp with the value at position J. So we compare 17 with 29. Since 17 is smaller, we shift 29 one step to the right. Now there's an empty space at index zero. So we place the value at temp there. Now the list becomes like this. Next, we move i to position two. So the temp is now 14. j starts from position one, which is pointing to 29. Since 14 is smaller, we shift 29 one step to the right. Now we move the pointer j to the left by one step and thus j is now equal to zero, pointing to 17. Then we again compare the value at temp with the value at position j. Since 14 is again smaller, we shift 17 to the right by one step. Since j is at the start, it cannot move left any further. Now the i moves to position three, so the temp is now 10. j starts from i minus one, or j starts from 2, pointing to 29. Since 10 is smaller, we shift 29. Now j is equal to 1, pointing to 17. Again, 10 is smaller, so we shift 17. Now j becomes 0, pointing to 14. 10 is still smaller, so we shift 14. The list now becomes like this. Now the i moves to position 4, and thus temp is 37. J is equal to 3, pointing to 29. This time, 37 greater than 29. So we don't shift anything. That means temp is already in the correct place. The list stays the same, and we move I by one step to the right. So I is at position 5, and temp becomes 14. J is equal to 4, pointing to 37. Since 14 is smaller, we shift 37. Then J becomes 3, pointing to 29, again shifted to the right. Then J becomes 2, pointing to 17, shift again to the right. Then J becomes 1, pointing to 14. Since both the values at J and temp are equal to this 14, we stop. So, insert temp just after that. Now finally I moves to position 6, and temp becomes 5. So we know that it will shift all these values to the right by one and will be placed at the first position. And that's it. This way, you can see that we have our sorted list. That's the full idea of insertion sort. Now let's talk about time and space complexity. These tell us how fast and how much memory the algorithm needs. Time complexity means how many steps the algorithm takes if the list gets big. It helps us compare how fast different algorithms solve the same problem. In the worst case, like when the list is in reverse order, 
Insertion sort takes n square steps, where n is the number of items because each new item has to be compared with all the ones before it. This means if there are 100 numbers in the list, in the worst case, it may take 100 times 100, that is 10,000 steps. Space complexity means how much extra memory it uses. In insertion sort, we don't use any new list or structure. We just use one temporary variable to hold values during shifting. So the space complexity is one, also called constant. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Also, you can support my channel by joining our community and becoming a member. So good.